Hey guys, Trouble Week here today and welcome back to City Skylines. So last time we were doing the industrial area over here, which I think, well, I mean, it's not a whole lot of stuff here, but I think it actually turned out pretty well and I'm pretty happy with that. But I think what I want to do, I guess eventually, probably not right now, is that we've got this cargo line here. I'm thinking that we need to either, I guess, oh, I guess we could do it here. I was going to say, we could head this way because I want to connect it to the cargo line that's going to head out over this way because clearly we already have the passenger track here. This doesn't need to be a secondary passenger line. I think it's probably best to have it as cargo that's going to head out this way to the, the main, well, I guess not the main, additional city area because now these are going to pretty much bleed together into one big area eventually. Uh, so I'm thinking probably, I don't know, let's try it here. Let's see if it sort of fits in at all. Otherwise we can branch off further down this way and that will still work too. I'm thinking probably here. Okay, cool. Yeah, that, that works. All right, so then that goes this way. So it means it won't be able to deliver to this station here. They won't be able to do like a, a left-hand turn, but that's probably fine because that connects it to that station out that way, which is sort of where the larger industrial area is. That goes underneath, goes over there, comes out of that way. Great. Okay, that's connected up there. Then let's go, let's do something here because this has just been empty for so long. Actually, do we have, when do we get uh, the cargo stuff or do we already have it? Cargo, I want the harbor is the thing. We're going to have 42,000 people. Okay, I would like to try and get some more people then. So I want residential on this side of the rail, which I think is perfectly fine. So can we not go underground? I'm so sick of seeing underground right now. Uh, I like the that pathway there, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to have this come around like that, so it sort of follows the rail in a way. Then I'm just going to zone in this section. Originally it was kept empty for potential rail in the future that we had going over that way, but we've obviously since changed our plans there. This section I'm going to keep open. Uh, I think I want to, maybe we should figure out how this rail gets over there, because that's probably, that's also quite important. So this one obviously goes underneath. I think, because it's going to be a cargo rail, it's going to have to be pretty busy. Now, I don't know, the problem is, I don't know how far back the rail comes. Because if we go there, maybe we can just continue around. Actually, the other question is, do we need this rail to go anywhere else? We probably would want the cargo rail sort of going off into the city somewhere too, right? So we... I guess we might even want to join the rail down the... not join it, but like sort of follow it along, or maybe even have it... Oh man. There's so much like potential stuff that we need to do with this rail that I haven't... I haven't planned it out. You know what? No. I'm not going to do that because I have not even thought that far ahead with the rail. Like, I don't know... How am I going to do that? I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to think about that. <laughs> Got this road over here that I've never used as well. Uh, I'll zone any of that. We're keeping it, we're keeping it kind of low density at the time, but... I mean, it still is low density, but you know what I mean. Like, we're... Turn prop anarchy off as well, by the way. Because that's going to be a mess. Um, I do want to... So what I did here is I was just mucking around with the trees. Clearly at the moment they're halfway through the buildings, but I was like looking at this area. I'm like, it looks... Especially from here, I was like, it looks really like... Brown. And bland. So I wanted to go through and just add my own trees in all those dirt. Like, it's nice that the buildings have all the grass, but then they're just covered. Why would they surround it with gravel and dirt? It looks awful. And I don't have surface paint, so I can't just make it grass. Um, I don't know why they do that, because it looks awful. Got this space here, though, so let's um, get some stuff in. Probably just like a little... Just that. That's all it needs. Some more houses. There you go. Oh, there must be a power line box thing there, which is annoying. Uh, which if we go here and go to... Nope, sorry, here is what I meant. Yep, don't need it. Okay, there you go. Right, so they can build there. That is still in the zone. Good. Uh, this area is looking pretty damn good. Got all the good connections. 32 people there. This is being used 500 people a week. Uh, these buildings, I think these, I know we looked at them last time, but they look pretty good. Okay, so that's that. Uh, I'm happy with that area. I think we could use some stuff probably over here. Like, this is such a nice, like, flat area. So I should get a road through this way and go up here somewhere. Up here is really nice. But I don't... So, right, I guess right now I want to get to 42,000 people. And maybe we should build over here a little bit, just to the other side of this uh, highway. Because that wouldn't be too bad. Oh, yeah, I need to go through and do all that key. So I'm going to get a road that runs... I guess pretty much parallel to the highway. I thought I said stick to the ground there. Don't straight slope either, just normal slope. Cool. Yeah, just follow the terrain, that's fine. Uh, then I want to get out this guy. Actually, you know what I might do here? Because I'm about to build here anyway, I might as well get the key in. At least on this section. Uh, 
and let's say that goes to there. So we do something like this, and then I might just use... Actually, hang on. I'll move this to there. I, really should, I think it should really be like... right along the edge if we can get it there, you know? Sort of have it really like... Almost that it is the sound barrier. Also, because it gives us more land at the top, which is quite good. Oh, freaking autosave. I'm, gonna bring, I'm just going to pull this over the other side so we can... Well, actually, considering this is all straight all the way up till this point, we might as well just use it for the whole section. Although, I guess, no, the, the height of the terrain changes. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's go back to here. We'll go to the bridge. To that point there. Looks good to me. Then this will sort of come in. Now, I guess the question is, do I want to keep the sound barrier shown? I don't mind that. So we'll keep it there too. Make sure these are the same height so it looks at least decent. Good. Then this comes up to this point here. And then... I think it needs to come back a little bit. And then this will come in. This needs to be about there, I'm thinking. I don't know if there's anything I can do with this particular section here. Then maybe curve it a little bit just to help it out. And then this will come all the way to there. And sort of fill in like that is the idea. I don't know about this section though. This is not, not looking how I want it to. But I don't know. That, again, I don't know there's much I can do about that. I think I just have to keep, keep it almost a straight line like that. That's probably fine. So something like that. As you can see, it sort of follows the highway there a little bit. All right. So then that, the reason I just wanted to do that is so we can, when we zone this section, is that we can zone as much of it as possible. Uh, okay, can I get this to go along here? So that'll go there. And then that, stop bending for a second. We'll follow sort of along the same angle as the key. As you can see, beautiful. And I'll go through there. And then I'll sort of zone this whole section. Now this road will start I guess it's going to start from there. Go up and around. Okay, so this is going to be... We're going to actually get some houses along here, I think. Some apartment blocks. Uh, this whole area, really, is I think what I'm going to do. Even the small ones? Yeah, even the small ones. The tiny little ones. Yeah, let's try those out. Try them out for size. Let's see what we get. If it looks terrible, we'll, we'll undo it. But if it's okay, we'll keep it. So that will go there. We'll see what we get in. Uh, we need some water, and we're going to need... I'm probably going to need some sort of district over here as well. Must be some other district on this side. Now, I want to figure out... We might as well figure out where a... Kent Park. It's not going to be called that. We could Sedona something, but I haven't figured out what yet. Uh, we should get the train station over here somewhere. So if we've got the cargo line... Here. I almost want to try and switch these rails over. So if we... Okay, we've got a station just there. These two stations are pretty close. I think if we have one maybe here-ish. Sort of comes around the corner. So, because we could even use, use this to our advantage. Have like a road. Let's say a road. Here. No. About here. This is where the station's going to be. So it's going to be just off the main road. So it's not going to stop traffic on the main road. Trying to get to the train station or anything. Uh, then we'll get a just a small suburban one, I think. Just Again, because we don't really need a huge station here. The rural station is actually bigger, so I actually pff, think I prefer that. Just something like that is really all it needs to be. And then, so, okay, so the inner track here is our cargo, well, a supposed cargo line. So what I might do... Okay, that's, I think this is better. This is as good as it's going to be for now, anyway. Uh, so, <laughs> got the cargo rail going this way over the front. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's still not perfect. It could use a, a little bit of adjustments here and there, maybe that bit just up a little bit. Uh, there we go. So that sort of goes uh, along the front, up and over, so they sort of just switch over each other that way. Comes over this way, goes down, like that. Uh, and I think that's gonna work way better. And then it should- it gives us access to this whole little area here. That I've sort of connected the roads up that way, so just level crossing over the rail there. Uh, should be good. Because the thing is, I don't want this rail running along all the cliff edges like that, because we don't want to use up all the prime real estate of beautiful cliffs. So what I'm going to do now that they're here, we're going to sort of bring them back inland a little bit, because they're just right on the edge there. Only because we had to, because the sort of highway was there, we couldn't go anywhere else. Uh, so we're going to go there, and then we'll bring them back in this way, probably through the middle here somewhere, and then back out and around. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to continue doing that, because we're trying to... Uh, ideally, if I can get to 42,000 uh, population... Like, soon. By soon, I mean potentially any second in the near future. Uh, I'd be happy with that. So this can come up this way. 
Uh, I'm to that. Now, I don't want I don't want to do just dead straight roads all the way through here because it is it does have nice landscape here. So we want to try and utilize it if we can. Let me get that coming down that way a little bit so it sort of gets down to the end. That can join up there because it looks like we can zone there, which is quite good. If we can get some roads down here, maybe we do some of the smaller uh, alleyway roads kind of thing. Maybe come off the end there even. Is that going to look okay, or is that going to be a bit... Yeah, we're not going to get any zoning there, so let, let's not do that, because nothing's going to be zoned. It's going to be too steep. We can definitely do stuff down this way, though. And I thought this was, like, the perfect spot to even have, like, a road here that sort of follows down this way. Just on the other side of that rail, comes down the bottom. Uh, so we can have all the houses on that side looking over the water and all that, which would be really, really nice. Then it sort of just pulls up this way a little bit. Go through there, maybe, and then it'll just come straight on through. Like that, and so it sort of just follows through. I don't know, I have no idea where it's going to go from this point. Like, I don't know how it's going to get to the other side. Because we're going to have rails right there, obviously, currently completely dividing the two sides. Uh, but we'll, look, we'll figure it out. At the moment, we've got this access through here. This main road, let's figure out where that's going to go. Because we've got another main road here. Which, oh, look at that. That's actually built up quite well. I think what we should probably have... Uh... Some pedestrian paths somewhere. Those are way more, like, identical buildings than I probably would have wanted. <laughs> like, they all look exactly the same. No, actually, public transport, where do we have that going to? Because did we do, uh... So we, got, we just got buses here. The trams are there. We're going to want to have the trams coming all the way across, I think. Maybe not right now, but at some point would be useful. Because if that tram line came all the way down... Uh, from that main station, sort of down this way, then you could use that instead of going around... But then that also provides a connection. I don't know. Uh, okay, so for this road, I think this is going to come around like this. Turn off straight slope because I definitely don't want that on. And come around sort of nearish that, but not quite. Again, we're going to come near to those rails, but not quite. So we'll sort of. Actually, can I run parallel to those? Because I probably would want to do that for a little bit at least. And then we'll figure out how they sort of interact a little bit later on. Uh, then this can come to here. Not quite right. There we go. And then maybe this one even just goes straight down. Or we have it follow through at a different angle. So maybe this comes down here. And then, is that down a little bit? I think so. Then maybe it sort of turns out like this. Sort of heads off this way too. Then these two can sort of interact almost a little bit later on. Up there somewhere. And so instead of these guys joining through, because I think the, I don't think there's going to be, because if we're using that as a main road, we kind of want it to be another way to feed the city rather than these two just joining into one road. I don't think there's much point in that. Uh, we'll definitely have to have some more. So we've got a highway exit there and entrance there and obviously an exit there. We're going to need another probably exit coming this way, maybe around here somewhere would be good. Because we obviously the last exit all the way back over there, not ideal. Um, and we can't do one right here just because we've already got the, the entrance there. And I don't want to do it there because it's too close to the last one anyway. So there's not much point having that. But I guess we'll have to see how we go. I think maybe if we can do... Let's do a small... We can do a small road here. It doesn't have to be huge. Although it might need to be huge. And also it's very hilly here. So it's actually quite difficult. I'll leave that for now. Okay, so through this way. Uh, we're going to have... Not a road there. Maybe a road here. Coming up, and then we can have it coming off here. Oh, damn it. That actually almost worked too, how I wanted how I wanted it. That was beautiful. There to there. Look at that. Beautiful. Then we can have this come off this way. To there, roughly. And then another one through here. And what we'll want to do, I'm thinking, is probably have a pedestrian bridge and some sort of easy pedestrian access to that station over there. If that's going to be like a main sort of little station in the area. Now I'm going to make these grids here a little bit smaller. I don't want to join that to the road. So I think what I'll do is if I have this going there, get rid of that bit. Oh, that almost joins up exactly where that, that meets. So much so that I'm willing to have it, like, sort of curve just a little bit. Not curve, but, like, bend a little bit there. There we go. That will come down. Come through. 
I'm doing very small grids here, but I think it'll be okay because I, I don't want the buildings to be huge in this area, I don't think. Uh, so this. We should definitely have another road here somewhere, I think, connecting through because it's probably a good idea. So then we can have more than like a couple of entrance points. So if we do that, uh, and then let's just get one of there too, just to sort of finish up that area. Okay, so if we do all that, let's get out some pedestrian pathways because I think we're going to need some good access in the area. Uh, so turn off road guides. We're going to get one not there. We'll go here because that's a weirder little zoning section. I can come through here. So it's sort of a bit of a weird way to walk through, but it works. Uh, that'll come through here, through there. These will definitely join through as well on both of these, I think. And maybe this can come through. Wait. If we can get through to that section, it'll be a bit better because there's already no zoning there, so that's fine. All right, so they'll have a lot of like sort of pedestrian walkthroughs now. I would like to get a bridge over this road, which I figured I think was only five meters. We realistically needed to be above the ground for for trucks and all that to like visually get underneath. So if we can do that, five meters should be all that we need. That yeah, that looks fine. Then this will come maybe this way and then come down over here, just behind this, because. Then we keep that zoning in between. Alright, so I'll go there. Now, I guess, how's this connecting up to that road there, up to these roads? Do we want to use existing intersections? No, you know what we're going to do? We're going to use one-way roads. Although it probably won't matter here, but we'll see. Uh, okay, turn off Anarchy for a second. Turn it back on again because I need it. Damn it, I don't want to get rid of that bridge that I just put in. <laughs> I need that there. Oh well, fine. Okay. There we go. So it goes in like that, just because I wanted to have... Because then we have one set of traffic lights, that one's not traffic lights. And that will kind of work that way, if that makes sense. So if we go to our uh, asymmetrical road, wherever that was, it was in here somewhere, this guy. Then we can get the sort of turning lanes on that. And then... Oh, can I not... Why can I not flip it? How strange. There's like, because there's a tiny section of road there, so it doesn't work how I want it to. Okay, here to there. There you go, that's better. Um, I don't know if I want it to be one way after all this. I don't think it makes a lot of sense. Because, like, why? Well, I guess what we could do instead, you know what, instead of doing that, instead of all that, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have demolished all that, because now I've got to somehow redo that corner here. For some reason, this is also raised up two meters. For some reason, like, I don't, I don't know why. Why is that gone up so high, and why is that so low? These are all, uh, yeah, very strange. And there's a tiny section of road there too. <laughs> there's like this tiny little. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. There we go. Tiny section. Okay, whatever. That'll that'll do for now. So that'll go there. Then what I was thinking, instead of doing that, what we'll go, we'll use the existing intersections. So we'll come back here. Stop changing height, please. Come along to maybe about here. And then that can go like that. Then this one will come out this way. And then maybe there. I'm trying to see where we can... I don't know how steep this is here. I don't know how hilly it is, but let's have a look. Oh, like it sort of goes down almost for a weird reason like we should almost just like kind of level this area out because it just makes more sense to have it sort of raised up okay using like a single thing for some reason there we go that's better all right so then we sort of just smooth that and same with this that's all just dipped down for some reason, and all that as well it sort of dips down for no particular reason there we go that's a bit better i might smooth out some of this in the middle here too that we've sort of all raised up okay so that goes there Sort of connects at those two existing intersections instead, which I think makes sense. Uh, then we can use the pedestrian pathway as a quicker access for anyone that's trying to walk there, which also makes a lot of sense, I think. So we can go straight across to here. Lovely. Uh, and then basically... Straight down there, and then we'll also come down this way as well, just in case... People actually do just genuinely want to cross the road, which, I mean, who would want to do that? I don't know. So I actually want to go 
change this a little bit. So go, let's go straight along there. Just join those two, and then we'll come down over that way. Okay. Oh, that's a lot steeper than I thought it was. I mean, I guess we can just do this. There you go. All right, so then it sort of crosses the road that way instead of having to do a separate pedestrian crossing kind of thing. Uh, then the rest of this place we're going to need... Well, that should already have crossings. That already has it. This will need it, though. This will also need it. Oh, we should definitely have a pathway coming through here. Uh, like that. There's no reason it shouldn't do that. And I think I might just do a crossing here just to help them out. There you go. So they can sort of walk pretty much all the way through now. Uh, and hopefully a good flow is the idea. I might get one there. And I'll get one in the middle of those two, so, so we don't just have two there. Then I wanted, yeah, I wanted to have a pedestrian bridge over here somewhere as well. I don't know that that would help anyone or anything, but it's probably a good idea nonetheless. Um, right, guys, grid. Am I on the grid or am I off the grid? I can't tell. Uh, I guess there. Now if we just go straight across. Oh, these are completely different heights on the sides here. Like way different heights than I thought they were. I mean, can we bring this to the same sort of height so it doesn't look so strange? Because really I want it to be there then. This key anyway. Because uh, we can do it. I don't know how it'll look if we start zoning. Because actually, there's a bus stop right there too, so that'll actually be really convenient if we get this to come straight across. So I go straight there. Then we get this, and it goes up. Cool. Then let's just get houses here, just to sort of fill out this zone. Because so I want to see what it looks like when there's houses there, see if it looks okay still. Now, we're not going to zone right next to that, because it's going to mess up the uh, that walkway there. Houses all the way along there, though, so we'll try that. Then, we'll make sure that this side is high enough, because currently it is not, as you can quite plainly tell. So I move this back so it's, like, right here. And then we get the pathway, and we finish it to... There, I guess. Not quite. A little bit further. I don't know why it's trying to do a zoning tile there, all there. Now, I think that this already has... Like, I think they can already cross over anywhere on that thing, so we'll just ignore that. Then we're going to go here. Through to there. And then I guess actually we probably should have a crossing here, because then they can sort of walk through. Alright, so then that provides a way for people to walk straight across the highway and to this bus stop that's right there. Which would be good. Slash, you know, coming the other way too. So it provides almost public transport to the area, even though we've got nothing over here yet. Now, over this way, let's get some piping. Uh, like so. Good. And then all the way out here. Through the middle. This is going to be, I guess, largely residential, but not completely. We have also haven't done any roads there, but I wanted to get sort of get out over this way. Get some residential. Now, high density. I don't know that's what I want to do just yet. I mean, I did there. But I don't really want it to be too tall in this area yet, because this is still kind of almost the outreach of this city that's going to be which the center, probably here, I guess. I think this will be like the main like skyscrapers and all that. So it can still be built up a bit, but I think that's probably even a bit too much for me. So might go high rise band. I don't know if any of those are too tall, because we also haven't done a theme on the area yet. But I guess I might if I do high rise ban. I don't think any of those are high rises, considered high rises. But I think they're a little tall, though. Oh, well, if we do buildings that are small enough, it should be okay, I think. So let's say, what if we do only two deep high-density commercial there? Are they gonna, how tall are those going to be? Because if they stay pretty small, I'll be okay with it. I'll get some, like, offices, like, through this area here, too. Now, some of these can end up quite big. So we'll have to see on these as well what they're going to be. So this should also be quite good to get all the sort of offices in this area. Uh, so we did high-rise ban. I think I'll just extend this district up until there, at least so it covers all of this. And then, I don't know, this maybe can be some high posh area or something. We could also do a bridge over here, might be a good idea, because then we can start doing stuff out on this. A lot of people wanted to see an airport out this way as well, on this sort of middle thing, which is not the worst idea, uh, but it depends how big they are. Obviously, we're not going to use, we're going to build our own airport at some point. We're going to do multiple airports. I don't know how big they are, I can't even select them. I just want to see 
roughly how big it would be. Because, I mean, I guess you could do, like, a runway there, um, maybe, and then have, like, a terminal here. Or somehow get it over here and get the highway connection. I don't know. We can, we can have a look. We can look into it. Okay, so we're getting all those kind of buildings there. Not the most beautiful buildings in the world, but it gets the job done. Uh, through the middle. Let's see what kind of buildings we get through here. Because I because we got high-rise ban. Maybe we should do... Should we do my desert theme as well? It just keeps the buildings a little bit smaller, I think. Maybe. Let's try it. We can always change it. Uh, desert. So that might, that might even change some of those buildings that are already there. I don't know. I might have deselected some of those. Although, actually, no. I don't think the theme changes ones that already exist. All right. Let's get some parks and all that through here. Uh, oh, that's almost a perfect fit. Not quite, though. Again, almost. Not quite. What about this? Nope. Way too big. What about this? Almost. 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 Doesn't fit in any of those spots. Dog park? I mean, we just get that anywhere, really. Get that there. Maybe we can get... What's this? Fishing? Okay, not fishing island. We can get that tribute park, a bunch of park. What about baseball? No, it's too big. Basketball? We can have to get some inner city basketball courts. Hell yeah. What if we get these? Got a couple there or something. And then we could get like a swim center or something, a swim club. Oh, this fits actually really nicely there. Or maybe we can get it sort of more over this way. So it's like kind of just off the main road. A little too much but it's, it's like still near it so it's got like the pathway access but it's still on a quieter road a little swim club kind of thing there all right that should make people pretty happy yeah see these sides of buildings that's what i want not like th i think those are a little too big these look pretty good though i think so we've got thirty nine thousand people uh so i think i want all of this to be residential i don't know about this section in the middle there though i was kind of wanted to leave that probably just so it's like part of the basketball courts and all that uh commercial we can see what we can get from it. Should we have it on both sides of this block? Might have it all the way around here though. I think through here is probably good because it's right near the train station and all that. Uh, there's no point in zoning all that large back section. I want smaller buildings there and some through here as well. We get all offices. Obviously there's no train line coming here yet, but let's, uh, let's do that because we should probably get that running out this way now, considering we should be able to do it very easily by extending this line. There you go. So that now goes over there as well. These guys are all upset. They'll be happy in a second, though. There you go. All right, so that's it. Uh, I think we only have one train running on this line. Is that correct? Line details. Yeah, only the one. We'll see if that's enough. Anyway, so that goes all the way out here now. That's still got no water. I never plumbed that in for some reason. Don't know why. There you go. Okay, so this is all building up here now, too. So, we've got the train line over here. Hopefully we start seeing some people use all these walkways now that there's actually stuff going on around here. It should be pretty good. Uh, quite a bit of traffic. Got some... Let's have a look around here. Got a bunch of people using this walkway, presumably to go to the... I'm going to assume they're all going to the... Uh, not all of them, but a lot of them probably going to the bus stop. Yeah, to both sides of the road there you can see. Pedestrians. Get into the bus stops. Nice. That's working actually really, really nicely. Pretty much how I wanted it to. Got some houses there along the edge. A little bit dodgy because it's a little high compared to the key height. I mean, you know what we could do? I could have just moved the key back. Had it here instead, just before the walkway. And then just move it up. Because it doesn't have to, yeah, it doesn't have to touch the key. That's it. That is a, a true, true point. It makes all the houses look a bit better too. I mean, I'll adjust it a bit more. Again, like, I want to probably do keys through most of this area just to sort of finish off the walls. Uh, i got a bunch of people coming this way. I think what I might do, it might be worth getting asymmetrical road here because there's a lot of people that want to turn left because obviously that's the first sort of entry point for this area. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yes, that's... Maybe it would be better to have this road connect directly to here, to that intersection instead of this one. Or really, this should also come this way. Actually, what it should do. So it sort of provides connection straight down there, because they don't want to go on the main road, because there's not always point to go on the main road there. Uh, so I want to change the speed limit on all of this. This is all now 60 as well. It's actually faster than the main road. Actually, i got to be careful that people don't <laughs> then turn off the main road to come down here instead. Uh, I'll go 50. I'll, I'll turn it to 50 instead, just so it's the same speed, so there's no benefit over the other one. There we go. It's 50 all the way down to there. All right, so now, because I think probably a lot of these guys are probably coming down here and then trying to get to this section too. What I might even do, why don't we go like this? So if we go... 
Maybe down there and then up that way? Because then... Actually, I might do the same here. So if we go in and then have that, that out over here. Because then there's no traffic lights here because they're both one ways heading in. Uh, and then that's how you get out of the area. Alright, so it kind of just like splits up the traffic there a little bit. So hopefully make it work a little nicer. And then through this area, might just get some offices here. And then maybe all the way down the back here as well. Today, and then some slightly larger ones in that section. Should be good. And then through the back here, I might just get some more residential. We'll see what we get building up through this area. Hopefully some nice stuff. But that building's probably a little tall. Some buildings are a little too tall, I think, but... And they might even get a little bit taller later on as the uh, quality of the area sort of increases. But we'll see how we go. I hate how that looks, like, with the, the shadow there, because the sun position makes it look really dull. At least from the side, it looks a little bit better. Alright, so that's coming along nicely. This guy's got no water, because he's probably just out of the range. Sorry about that. Oh. Oh no, that guy's just out of the range, too. The rest of the people are fine. I need to just do this. Cover up the whole area. There we go. Alright, so I was just looking at that. That's all good. Power. Oh no, we're slowly going down our usage there. Garbage is all good. Okay. So, people using this train station, that's probably a good question too. Oh yeah, there's quite a lot of people waiting there. Nice, I'm probably going to guess that we need a second train. Uh, now, I wanted to spawn at Sedona Station, because then what I'll do, which is this one over here, I think. Yeah, what I'll do is when this train hits the other end, which is just over here, I'll spawn it so they're on opposite ends of the line completely. Alright, there you go. So that should now be spawned. So there's one there, one over there. Okay. So they should hopefully be running back and forth. But I think I do think we need a second train now. I mean, it could probably it could probably be fine without it, but there's people waiting to go both directions, and if there's only one train, they're gonna be there for a little bit of time. There you go. Look at this. Beautiful. They're still pretty busy too. Like this train line is actually working quite nicely. I think. Oh, it's, all, it's all coming together now. Look at this. Do people use this? I want I want to see people using this. I mean, they're using it to come up this way and over, which is almost unnecessary that they even have to walk up a hill to get over this way, but... Nothing building there either. Because that would look nice with a couple of buildings just to fill in the space. Fine. Officers, do that. I just want it to be built up either side of the, the, the little pathway there, that's all. That would look nice. Because look at that, those buildings look quite nice. I mean, they I look... I mean, they look disgusting, but like, I mean, they look nice in terms of it's all built up in this area, you know? A little station over here. Maybe get some low-density commercial on this side. Just to sort of fill out that section a bit. Might even be able to get a road that way a little bit, I don't know. It's coming along though, it is definitely coming along. Uh, yeah, there you go, it's building there now. Nice! I think this rail- ooh. I was about to say, I think this rail here works. In terms of its looks, uh, sort of running along the top there. Because it sort of just goes along the top of the buildings and then you just drive underneath to get to the other side. Which I think it works just fine, and then you have the sort of passenger rail there, and then they cross over. Which I had, a, to be honest, I don't even know if we did need to cross them over, it's just at the, this current point in time that rail would have been in the way. Um, I just had to get out of the way a little bit at least. Alright, well I think I'll leave this part here. I mean, we've built up this whole area in Kent Park, we still haven't got 42,000 people. I think we're pretty close though. Because uh, I want to get that rail here in, and this whole cargo hub area done. Because uh, then, once this cargo line here is joined up and functional, which I guess goes here. We'll have to figure out another way as well for it to be connected to the air, other areas. Because I think, because this will probably be, become a major line connecting the whole local area. We'll see what we can do. I guess we'll probably, what we might do is pull the line down this way here somewhere too. Maybe we'll come back into the city over the harbor further down or harbor over the over the river. Uh, then we've got this one here. I don't know, like that's something that we've got to figure out and we've got to do some more, some more exits and all that too. I guess what's going on here? We should probably have, before we head off, some asymmetrical roads here. On this section. Because then it gives us a couple of lanes there to allow people to pass if they're trying to turn right. Hopefully they're smart enough to do that. I don't think it's doing that. No, it's still letting them go forward in that lane. Idiots. That's only a right hand turn. So hopefully everyone going forward then will stay in this lane. Because currently they're all being stupid. And not. 
but hopefully new traffic that comes in will work properly with that all right because then that, that sort of hopefully just flows because at the moment obviously we've got a huge amount of traffic here because i think what's yeah you can see what's happening here people are taking this exit to get over this way which is actually good i like that they're taking this exit to get around instead of coming up here and along the main roads because there's far less intersections clearly and it's good that that's working we just need to make sure that we handle the traffic flowing in this way a little bit better which i think it's not too bad like i don't think it's too bad i think that's the worst at the moment yeah it's just that uh that's kind of heavy through this area but that's not too bad it's mostly just this section i think are they going to keep changing there or is that just old traffic hopefully that's just old traffic there's almost everyone here wants to turn right which is fine it's just the thing is because they're all just trying to get not all of them a lot of them that are going that way i'm thinking maybe we even change this up because If we had this one way, just continue straight across instead of here. So maybe if we flip it. So then they're in one traffic movement, they can go through instead of two. In that case, now having an asymmetrical road there doesn't make any sense. So let's just go normal road. Back to that road. Just figuring this out on the fly. There, there, there. It does mean we do have two sets of traffic lights because this... Previously, was no this wasn't a traffic light, but I guess we need a symmetrical road here, though. Oh, I guess we could have kept it, actually, is what we could have done. Hang on. So we go there. Uh, we can still do that, because then you have the two lanes that turn right. That works. And then we go here. That just becomes a forward lane instead. Okay, so then you have like those. Hopefully they util hopefully they utilize these lanes properly, which currently doesn't look like they are, because I want people that are going to go left to always be in that lane and not change there, which it currently looks like they are. So let me just force them to do that, because then you won't block people trying to go straight. Is the idea anyway? Go there, go there, and then don't change there either. Just like if you choose your lane like back here, then it'll be good. Because then anyone going forward is always going to be in this lane and not in the way. You see? Beautiful. And then these guys just move across in one movement, and that seems to be better already. So there you go. There's a lot of street parking going on here too. Which maybe we should get some car parks. Just like getting some flat car parks around the place. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to leave that here. So that's that. We messed around with the rail over there for a while. I mean, I, cut, I think I cut that out. And then also this <laughs> cut out. Uh, and then we built up this area. So that's pretty good. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back next time. We've got a few dead people here. Uh, either continuing down this way. I don't know. Re actually, not really. I just really want to get to 42,000, which we might actually just hit between episodes anyway. In which case, if we do, then I'll just start working on the rail. I'll try and plan that out, how that's going to work. Uh, and then we'll go from there. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.